Hey, what's up, YouTube? Daniel here from I Am Life. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own uh, sounds for your iPod, like your lock sound and your unlock sound, using an app called IMG Pain and an application on your computer, which is called uh, iPhone Box. You can't really tell what it says there. Um, okay, so first off, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what, I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about. I'm going to lock it. I am now locked. I did that using the IMT Paint app. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run the IMT Paint app. It's running right now. Now it's going to, it like, give it a second. <laughs> I'm going to go to the microphone. Now it's going to record. This is the IMC Pain app. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to get this for free. Link in the description on how to get this app for free. Um, well, eventually there'll be a link in the description because I had not made that video yet, but I will get to it as, as soon as possible. Um, I just, like, I mean, I, I just taught myself this today. I don't know that anybody else even knows how to do this. Uh, okay, anyway. So, you're going to be using your IMT Pain app. I'm gonna, again, like I said, I'll show you how to get that for free uh, in a later video that I'm going to be doing like maybe 10 seconds after I upload this one. Okay, so you're going to use your IMT Paint app. You're going to run it. Now it's going to record. You're just going to do whatever you want to do and do into it. Um, you're just going to record whatever you want to record. So I'm going to just record something real fast. I am now unlocked. And I'm going to tap save there. I am now unlocked. See, I fucked it up. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. I am now unlocked. I am now unlocked. There you go. Okay, now, what we're gonna do with this is we're done on our iPod. Okay, you you don't need to touch that ever again. Well, I mean, you will eventually. But now we're gonna move over to the computer and we're gonna be working with some files on the computer. Now, these are my themes. Here, all these over here. These are all my themes here that I've been working with. Now, what we're, what we're going to do is once you have iPhone Box, it's going to be there's going to be a link in the description. Once you have iPhone Box, it's going to load up looking like this. What you're going to want to touch, what you want to get, let me turn this over a little bit. I don't know why it's crooked like that. What you're going to want to get is, let me see here. You want to go to this thing called the Rye Raw File System. You're going to double click that, and then you're going to scroll down until you see Library. You double click Library. And then you're going to go down to Themes, which is here. You you can't see Themes. It's right there. Right there. Okay. Um, you do have to have Winterboard to do this here. Now, you're going to you're gonna double click on Themes. Now, leave that open. You're not going to need this this little thing until a couple, couple minutes later on in the video. Now, you're going to go from here. You're going to scroll down until you see Users. You're going to double click on Users. And then you're going to double click on Applications. You're going to go through all of these until you find IMT Pain. And the IMT Pain application is, let me see, where is the IMT, right there. See the IMT Pain application? We're going to double click on IMT Pain. And then we're going to go to either Library or Documents. You're going to click on both of them. Okay. And then Documents, you're going to get this thing that's called Recordings. Double click on Recordings. Now over here in the main window, you're going to get all these things that are .caf files. Now a .caf file, or a .caf file, can be played using um, QuickTime. If you don't have QuickTime, if you, if you have iTunes, you should have QuickTime. If you don't have QuickTime, then I suggest you get it because I do not, I do not believe you can listen to these using Windows Media Player. Um, so, what you're going to want to do is, after you've recorded one of these, after you've recorded what you want to do, you're going to go on here and you're going to click Refresh. And then you're going to go through all of these until you find the biggest number. And my biggest number is, I do believe, 154, right there. We're going to double click this. It's going to load up in QuickTime up here somewhere. Should go right there. There it is. Okay, and we're going to play this. I am now unlocked. Okay, so that's this is going to be my unlock sound, and that's how you can test it. So you want to make sure you can you you know where that's at. 
Now, you're going to you're going to click this and drag it to your desktop. Once you've done that, you're going to have a folder on your desktop. You're going to make a new folder on your desktop. Okay? You're going to make a new folder. Just new folder and name it whatever you want. Name it whatever you want. You're going to name it custom theme dot theme. Um, or I'm going to name it robot sounds. Actually, what am I doing? Robot sounds dot theme. And then click enter. Now once you've done that, you're going to double click and go in there and now you're going to make a new folder inside that folder. And you're going to name this folder UI capital S lowercase sounds. So just UI sounds. But um, UI is capitalized and then the S on sounds is capitalized and the rest of sounds is lowercase. You're going to double click on that, go in there, and then you're going to drag and drop your your sound that you want to use into that folder. You're going to right click on that and rename it to whatever you want it to be the sound. So let's say I want it to be unlock, I'm going to name it unlock lowercase. So it has to be lowercase. And there you go. Now this, if I take this folder that I just made, this robot sounds, and I go back into iFunbox. We're going to go back up to that themes folder back up to this themes folder. Now once we're on the themes folder, I'm going to go back and find that robot theme that I just made. Drag it up to here. Okay. And I'm going to drag the robot theme onto the themes right there. And it's going to go straight in there. And now that theme is going to be in here somewhere. It's going to be called robot sound theme. Right there. You're going to go into there. It's going to say UI sounds. And then there's yeah, unlock.caf or CAF. Okay. Now once you've done that, you're going to go back to your iPod, which is here. Okay, now I'm going to go to my jailbreak stuff, which is here, and we're going to go into Winterboard, which you, which you have to have. You have to have a jailbroken iPod if you didn't notice yet. And then we're going to select theme. Once, you've, once you're in here, you're going to select the new theme that you just made, you're going to Winterboard, and then Respring. And it's going to respring your iPod. Now, once you've resprung, I am now on a boat. if you heard that, let me turn it up a little bit. There you go. That is how to make your own custom sounds. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. As always, have a nice night or day, depending on where you're at. Uh, favorite the video, thumbs up the video, subscribe to my channel for more videos on how to do this stuff, how to customize anything you want to do. I will be showing you how to do this, this thing here. That, that's my Wi-Fi bar there. And if I were to unplug my battery, my battery would be blue and green and stuff. I've customized those. I'll show you how to do that if you want me to. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Peace.